Hi everyone, welcome to another video of mine. Today we will be discussing the Boeing 787-10. This includes what differentiates it from the other Boeing 787 aircraft, the orders and more. I hope you all do enjoy this video. As we always do, I will begin the video with a little chat about the Boeing 787 family. Although today the focus is on the Dash 10 variant, it's always good to get a little background information, especially when the 787 project and family is so large. So the Boeing 787 is a long-haul mid-sized wide-body aircraft with two engines. What made this 787 so revolutionary was the fact it was the first airliner with an airframe constructed primarily of composite materials. The 787 is also making waves in the airline industry as it's 20% more fuel efficient than the Boeing 767, which it was intended to replace. A fun fact is the 787's original designation was the 7E7 prior to when it was renamed in January of 2005 to the Boeing 787. The first 787 took its maiden flight in 2009 and completed its flight testing in mid-2011 with all Nippon Airways being the launch customer some six and a half years ago. At this stage there are three variants to the 787 family, that being the 787-8, the 787-9 and our focus for today, the Boeing 787-10. So the Boeing 787-10 was pushed by the interest of Qantas and Emirates all the way back in December of 2005. Funnily enough, Emirates would go on some 12 years later to place an order for 40 of them, while Qantas would opt for the 787-9 aircraft, the middle-sized one. The 787-10 was aimed to be of similar capacity to the A350-900 and Boeing 777-200ER. After much discussion and fiddling around, on May 30th, 2013, Singapore Airlines became the launch customer by stating it would order some 30 of the Boeing 787-10s. This was, of course, providing Boeing would move forward with the program and eventually launch it. Thankfully, for Singapore Airlines' case, just over a month later, Boeing officially launched the 787-10. The aircraft was launched at the Paris Air Show and immediately received 102 commitments from various airlines. However, I'm going to talk more about the orders shortly. This variant of the 787 was set to replace the Boeing 777-200, Airbus A330 and Airbus A340 aircraft, while at the same time competing with the Airbus A350s. According to Boeing, the 787-10 will in fact offer better economics than the A350, but only on shorter routes. The 787-10 is set to be 68 metres long and seat some 330 passengers in a two-class cabin configuration. However, as always, this is subject to change depending on the airline's preferences when it comes to seating on the aircraft. The range of this aircraft is set to be 11,910 kilometers or 7,400 miles. Of course, with the extension of the aircraft, the range was bound to come down, but this is still a fantastic option for airlines that need an aircraft to seat a large amount of people on busy routes. Boeing completed the design for the Dash 10 in December of 2015, and major assembly began in March of 2016. The first and third of the 787-10s will have Rolls-Royce's new Trent 1010 engines, while the second one will be powered by General Electric's GENX-1B engines. At the start of the Dubai Air Show in 2017, the 787-10 had some 171 orders. So far, to name some of the airlines that have ordered the 787-10 include All Nippon Airways, British Airways, the Air Lease Corporation, Etihad Airways, Eva Air, GECAS, otherwise known as GE Capital Aviation Services, Singapore Airlines, United Airlines, an unidentified customer, and Emirates. Some airlines that I think could order this 787-10 include Air New Zealand as a replacement for their 777-200ER fleet. This would also fit nicely with the 787-9s they have. However, it's more likely they'll probably opt for the 777-8X if they do replace them. Another airline is possibly Air India to go nicely with their 787-8, seeming they didn't opt for the 787-9. Possibly American Airlines, and maybe in the future LATAM if they also don't go for the 777-X. I hope you all enjoyed this video on the Boeing 787-10. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Again, subscribe if you're new. Thank you very much for the amazing support on this series. We're rapidly closing in now on 10,000 subscribers, and I just want to say I think you're going to like the 10,000 subscriber music video. I've spent hours and hours working on ideas for it, and it's now finally all coming together in my editing software. So thank you very much, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.